I want to title my message today, Move from Faith to Crazy Faith. Hallelujah. And why I did that? Because what my experiences, my walk with God, and as much as many of you know, that the things that God has done and still doing in my life, that manifest in my life on a daily basis, the goodness, the favor, and the glory, hallelujah, of God and His faithfulness. Hallelujah, that is so amazing to, to witness. Hallelujah. And, and I just want to speak on today about how do we maintain that type of relationship and what does it take? What is the substance, hallelujah, that it takes for us as believers and children of God to keep that relationship or that flow going constantly and continuously in our lives? Praise the name of the Lord. And as you most of you know me by now. Hallelujah. Ek try maar my beste. Vir die Heere. Om die koninkryk van God. Te bou. Hallelujah. As niks van my nie. I'm fully dependent. And relying on the Holy Ghost. Nothing without Him. Can do nothing without. Ek wil eens try nie. Ek wil eens try nie. You know and that's why I think. That's why I'm so. Almost like. A little bit nervous still when I take this platform because I know it's not an easy place to, to stand at. Hallelujah. As a ye upmost, as a anasa. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to speak on uh, moving from faith to crazy faith. And I believe and I think that God has ministered this word to me because this is the type of faith, Kim, that we're going to need in this final hour. The Bible says in Ephesians 5 from verse 14 to 16, He talks about the last days and the days, hallelujah, that we need to redeem. Because the days are evil, hallelujah. And, and if we're going to be stuck by the same old, same old place where we, with our, when we, we started our walk with God, and, and, and you know, we, we, we dedicated our lives to Him and we welcomed Him and made Him Lord and Savior of our lives, and, and, and some of us, we think that is all right and that is where it ends or stops. It doesn't end there. That is the beginning yeah. of great exploits that God wants to do. That's the start of something great and supernatural. Hallelujah. And that is where God wants to show you His glory and His power. The way and the, 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 in the manner He will use you. Hallelujah. If you allow Him to. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. And I just want to share briefly with you this morning about moving from faith to crazy faith. Because that is the kind of faith we will need to have in this final hour before the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah and the Bible says that when I come will I find faith amongst you yeah. hallelujah amen so I just want to talk briefly about the faithfulness of God and when I activated my faith hallelujah where, 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 I, where I was faced with, with challenges and, and difficulties and decisions that I had to make when I inquired from the Lord and when I spoke to the Lord and I requested the Lord for His guidance and His instruction you know and His direction for my life and what it is that He wants me to do praise the name of the Lord many times we get so caught up in the, 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 the sea of life or the, 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 the move of life and the the speed that life and that we are going at at this moment Alice is that instant instant I can remember when I was by the ark it was not banana strawberry chocolate vanilla flavor instant porridge yeah. hallelujah and it was just for Christmas da. you know I shared the story with you it was in a stem with nigger locus for luxuries the favor the goodness of God yeah. hallelujah it started not there but started many moons before that already but God just manifested and showed and reminded me of his good for his goodness his faithfulness his goodness his faithfulness and his favor upon my lives hallelujah and that is what I want to speak on you know um, just a story before I go into the word you know um, recently I've started with this company and many people ask me how do you do it how do you get it right how do you get God to do what he's doing for you i say it's just a matter of activating and believing god activating your faith having crazy faith 
Amen. We started off with having faith, but we need to move to the next level and believe in God for the supernatural. Amen. Where the song says, I trust where I cannot see. Because in 2 Corinthians 5 or 7, the Bible says that we as followers of Jesus Christ are called to walk by faith and not by sight. Hebrews 11, the Bible talks about, and now faith. It is the substance of things hopeful. Hallelujah. And, and the evidence of things not yet seen. The thing that your eyes never laid eyes on. That is the thing that you trust in God and believe in God for by your faith. That is your substance. Hallelujah. And, and, and believe in God for the things that has not yet seen. Amen. We are walking by faith and not by sight. We first believe, then we see results. And that was the method or the terms and the and the, the, the how can I say the, the, the combination that I applied in my life. And you know what? It worked for me and it's still working for me today. So let us move from faith to the next level by of having crazy faith. Crazy faith. Because we're going to need that crazy faith in this final hour. Hallelujah. When I started at Lindsay, Africa, and Belleville South, Hallelujah, and Six Talana Street, close, Hallelujah, and Six Circle, Hallelujah. You know what? I started there, and when I went for the interview, I knew that God was with me. Because He is proven it over and over again into my life. I know He's with me still, wherever I go. He, that's His promise in His word. Amen. Amen. When I sat in that office and the guy that interviewed me asked me, you know, this is just a one-month contract. I say, uh, yes, they, they told me so. I said, are you taking the one month? Except for me in that office, I said, I'm going to go. I said, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. But I said, I'm going to You know, he was my manager. But I said, I'm going to go. Hallelujah. Because I know who I am in Christ. I said, give me a moment. Let me just talk to, to my God quickly. I sat like this for a minute or three. I said, you know what? Let's sign this contract. I had, I got that peace from God on the inside of me where I consulted from the Lord, inquired from God, what it is, what is it that you want me to do? I've got a job in, in the noon. I, I told my manager there, and I told him I'm going for an interview. Tell me about it. Because even there, I could see the favor of God. Hallelujah. When I said, when I was weg at Sondags, weg at Eke Weke, I said, Brother Ned, I can my Sondags afkere, I said, because I need to be in the house of the Lord. Because he is my source. Yes. He is my provider. Mobile, um, mobile is not my provider. He looked at me like this. He's a Zimbabwean. I said, yeah, look at this brother. He said, I'm not sure what brother. Hallelujah. So you must make it known unto them. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. My God will supply all of my need according to his. Hallelujah. And he said, in front of the, in the workshop, he said, only Brother Damien can get off on Sundays. Don't one of you dare to come to me and ask me for the same thing. I'm not going to grant it for you. Favor. Went for the interview, took the one month, permanent today. Almost three years permanent. Hallelujah. Dr. Kim. Dr. Kim has helped me with my contract. And good as I can see so lekker in the English. You know what I mean? I can see it. Hallelujah. Lekker in the English. And I grew up with the words. I can see the heart of the word. The name of the Bible. I can't even pronounce it. But I stop it for me when the Bible is. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. That motivates me to read the Bible to read. You know, you love it most. He snacks a name, ma. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hallelujah. You know, where you are availing yourself 
for God to use you and say, Look, you know, I don't know what to do. And who is going to do it? But I must do what I must do. But I have to do it myself. Use me, Lord, to advance your kingdom. To be a fisher of men, to preach the gospel, to proclaim it, hallelujah, unashamedly, boldly, hallelujah, to declare and to decree, hallelujah, to speak the name of Jesus. When it comes to public, I will speak at my workplace, I will speak, hallelujah, amongst my family, whether it's Muslim family, Allah would be that Jesus as he weg and divide it and deliver. Now, I can see as men what it likes, and by your only fan, by me, that's all right. Verstaan nie? Ek is hier my na sign man. Ons het laaf die kouwe wat sê Pastor Desmond. Stay focused brother. Oh ja, thank you Pastor Desmond for that word. So nou ek is lekker gefocus, kan julle sê. Oh ja, ek het het ingezoom, zoom, zoom. But anyway, long story short and then and I went for him to a sê, kijk jy, laat ons sign. Laat ons sign. Ek sê, jyre, I'm trusting you. You know, God is trusting me. Vat die ding. Ek sê, wat is wat doen ek? Vandaag is ek amper drie jaar daar, praise die jyre. Halleluja, permanent. And now recently we had a retrenchment. Work away. Last year, I was there, I started, it was my second year there by Linsen Afrika. You know, I started there, en toe ek instap daar, toe kom die vijwe van die jyre ook saam. O ja, wie geloof die? Moe nie jaloese sê, is lekker hier by Jesus. O ja, en nou kon die vijwe van die heres, en die einde van laatste jaar 2022, Linsen Afrika had the best year ever, halleluja, financially, praise the name of the Lord, halleluja, and that is why they make people permanent, because evangelist Damien was employed there, and when I stepped my foot inside of that territory, God has came along, and he was, he was moving in ever since. And where the Lord is, things are happening. Things are happening. I'm not going to be on people. 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 Hallelujah. Die jyre sal jou weet, sy weg met die ene, sy weg met die ene, die ene, wat som van die distance, wat som van die distance, monitor net, kyk net wat ek doen. Kyk hoe move ek. Single and jive, praise die jyre. Best year ever, Linsen Afrika. My last permanent, because die wens hulle is die meer was daar. Toe maak hulle so maar 27 mense permanent. So en daar soek. Maar hier wees die jyre vir hulle gauw net sy guns. Omdat ek daar is. Teenwoordig. It might sound crazy, it might sound cocky, as die waarheid. Hoor wat ek sê. As die eerste keer nie, ek wil nie nog vat by die ander sê. Ek gaan net vat hier. Ek wil erens gaan vandag. Halleluja. En dan, permanent retrains my nou recently. 27 mense, David. Nou dan ek, die sikker hy 27 wat nou. Oei, jyre. So ek is een van hy 27. Ek is aan een van hy 27. Ek is die plank. Ek is die, jy gaat nou, oe. Hulle gaan my kap. Halleluja. Nou, staan ek sê, jyre, I prayed about it. I said, Lord, het ek al ooit hier gedinge sys by een pre meeting op een maandas en gesê, bid vir Lindsay, bid vir Evangelis, hy gaat geretrains word, hy kan daar geretrains word, ha, 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 ek bid, ek sê, jyre, ek soek net evil, ek soek evil, en hulle die trains haal om Evangelis, en haal om, en God orchestrate everything like this, Mannen wat jaren daar werk, die zei ze maar, hulle wil nie meer daar werkie. Nou kom hulle so maar drong in, en hulle kom so maar nie werk toe nie. So na certificate en bewijse van waar hulle was en die, en so na om in te voon en allemaal die goed is. Nou sê ek, jyre, moet nou ons kyk na julle werk, man, werk is kaas. Praat dit dan waar die vandag voon hulle van my, please talk there to the manager, please talk to Londani, I wanna come back, is mis vir jou broer? Boe, is mis vir jou broer. Halleluja, but what am I trying to say? We, we, I moved from being, having faith to crazy faith. And let us go to our text this morning and let us see something that God showed me in this. And, and, and the Bible said, and, and when they had gone over, Elijah said to Elisha, now remember this was when Elijah told Elisha that, kijk hier, die jyre gaat vir my in a storm van vier, gaat hy my weg, am so wegraping. You know, and he will take me up to be with him in heaven. Hallelujah. And then now say, Elisha, kijk hier man. Nou, wat van my man? 
You know, but Kegi, he, he said, that, and when they had gone over, Elijah said to Elisha, ask what I shall do for you before I am taken from you. Let's turn away. Now, Elijah was Elijah's servant. Elijah was Elijah's master. You know what I'm saying? So, a servant as he is, so was Elijah. My one he come under them. And now, and Elijah said, I pray you, let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. Verse 10. He said, You have asked a hard thing. However, if you see me when. Now, guys, I want you to catch this. He said, My brother, are you all right? The thing was a fra for me, as a double portion for my anointing. And how can you ask or request? A, the anointing of someone else if you didn't been through what they've been through to get there where they are today yeah. you know what I'm saying so this is a difficult thing that Elijah requested from Elijah but listen here he said but however if you see me when I am taken from you it shall be so far so for you but if not so 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 this is then why I still stand except for you know what will you for my voice I say for me, because this is the thing that I want to show you. I want to show you that when I investigated the scripture, the portion I meditated and meditated and meditated, and he said, Base, 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 And he said for me, God showed me and he said, And from that day on, Elisha was so close to Elijah. So close. And I was thinking about. He was maybe like this when he went to the bathroom. I can see me, bro. Oh yeah. When he went for breakfast, good morning. When he went, made a move, Elisha was there. So he had and he, he became growing closer to Elisha because if you will be there, when I will be taken away from you, and it will happen what you request from me, you know. So he knew I need to be close. You know, and that is what God showed me. He showed me, if my people or if my children can also desire him to have that closer relationship with me who is their God, hallelujah, on a daily basis, when God moves, you are there. Because he, you know, what is the next move? What is the next instruction? Lord, what is the next information? Lord, what are you saying? Hallelujah. Because some of us want to serve the Lord from a distance. I hear a woman. Some of us want to push the Lord a hand length away from me and said, You know me, boo. When you need me, you can call me. Hallelujah. When you have an assignment for me, you can call me, boo. You know most my number is 911 if there's an emergency. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. And this is where many of us we miss the next instruction from the Lord that will take us to the next level of having crazy of faith. Hallelujah. And that is what we will need in this final hour to move to the next level. To but because we are, Lord, I, I will just sit here at the back. Ever look at sin we see? As if I can see, we see as far as is bang that the pastor has to say, Mondre, I see this lekker food, this for bar. So he said, Lekker food. Now, this spot, what must go on? Hallelujah. Amen. And that was the kind of relationship that Elisha builded with his master Elijah. Desiring a double portion of his anointing. Something difficult. Who of us sitting here today are still desiring the double portion of God's glory to be manifested for the fire of fresh fire to be poured out, to be baptized with in this final hour? Because that is what we're going to need. We see washy, blessed assurance, relax mode, find a distance. Because the next instruction might just come in a whisper. Then it's the favor of the earth. The next instruction that God's going to give you that will elevate you to the next level in your faith to have crazy faith, hallelujah, is going to be through a whisper. No, it's not the sister Nicole. Sorry, I'm not picking on you. I know that you've started with CCC. No words any. 
the whisper according to the next instruction that God has assigned for you, your, your assignment. Now, Father, you must. Hey, you want to ring my phone now? Hey, you want to call here Jesus and her mind? Oh, yeah. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The next instruction will only come if you go into your closet for seven days and sacrifice your time on Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Hallelujah, and social media that is taking most of our time today. And I, I'm telling you, Wi-Fi, fiber, rain, or whatever, Tiakong, you name it, Vodacom, Salmutabitsi, come now, Jesus, to Nara. When you have a man, Vodacom, come up with Nara, Jesus, to come, come, come. So that they can pay like a connection it to hear the next instruction. Now this week I do not feel Enjoy it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And Elisha was sticking closer than a servant. He became, I say, I really didn't miss you. Kijk hier, ek kan maar van my straai om van my af te wil skrik om te sê die ding wat sy begeer en vraag as sy 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 hebbie ding wat praat sy man staan terug hoekom ek het klaar en kwaaie van die heren en hy is bequesting al hy sê Lord this is my desire use my life to bring glory unto your name hallelujah Use my life as a loving sacrifice. However you want to. Wherever you want to lead me, I will go, Lord. Whatever the assignment, I will do it. Because if you are for me, who can be against me? Hallelujah. Thousand will fall on my right. Ten thousand. Nie krap in die oya. Toe ek in die wereld gaf, is het, toe stiek hulle my lekker my nie mis. Asse, asse. Die lekker het sê is. Lekker het sê as my nie mis in bierborrels. By Jesus, sy kan nie vir my raak nie. The righteous is at bold as lions. Because we know the lion of the tribe of Judah. En wanneer hy lion geroor het, as ek hulle diever uit sy kou phone, sy kou voice message wat hy in sy phone, dat hy dit play druk. Ah, het sy my besop. Het sy my besop. Dit is in die spiritual realm wat ons van praat. Dit is wat die fysieke eind nie kan sien nie. Maar zij zal niet vliegen, maar zoals die fake dingen, zoals die stands, zoals Jet Li kick without shadow. Zij zien niet die touwen wat hij op hangt, zoals een api. Nou, zo een move wat Jesus kan doen in jouw liever, daar staan die mensen op baas. Move from having faith to crazy faith. Hallelujah. That is what Elijah desired from Elijah. The Bible says, let's move to, to Ryan, please. As they still went on and talked, behold, a chariot of fire and horses of fire parted the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elijah, and, and Elijah saw it. And when he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen, and he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes. And tore them in two pieces. Let's go to verse 15 quickly. And listen what the Bible says. And when the sons of the prophets who were watching from a distance. Do you know we can serve God from a distance? Are you serving the Lord today from a distance? They occasionally, you know, and they realize in submit. You know, when it's a summer persona, but when it's a Lexus Hulk Hogan, they look. Huh? If you want to be spiritually muscular and strong, you need to work out every day. And not only on a Sunday. And everybody say, Amen. So watch this. When the sons of the prophets who were watching from a distance, the other um, version says, Jericho saw him. They said, the spirit of Elisha Yo, kijk hier jong, rest aan Elisha. Kijk hier, hulle was gestaan, hulle was geamuis. Kijk hier, and they came to meet him, and bowed themselves to the ground before him. 
They were also serving. They were also believers. Catch this. They were also serving the Lord. They were also followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. But from the distance of Jericho. Oya ma Elisa, chef of Elisa. Wat hy vorm sê, kyk hier Gilgal, die Here sê ek moet daar toe gaan. Bly sê hy, hy sê so lang as die Here leef en my siel leef, moet nie sê kans vat hier my bro, ek gaan saam met jou. Closer. You see that? Closer. Kyk hier, sy gaat my body het voel. Ek is stinnam. Ek is oppet. Hy sê kyk hier wat ek bid jou toe gaan die Here en strak my bly sê hy, man vang my nie te close wat hè so lang my siel leef en die Here leef not on my watch nie vir dag hier I'm not missing what God has for me hallelujah many times we just accept the distraction or the request from the enemy to devour us or mislead us hallelujah when he instructs us or when he drops up an emotion that he, that he just ignite in our hearts remember faith is not the emotion emotion is feelings Fight the substance yeah. in God. Yeah. Knowing that whatever He promised me, He's going to do, He will do. Yeah. Because He's the end. Knows the end from the beginning. Yeah. He's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. He knows my end from the beginning. Yeah. And as I say, Gefaarlijke plan het ek met jou liewe. Kijk hier, aan my sy weet. He that started the good work is faithful to complete it. Dus die wil by hiccups, panses along the way, trek net af in die geel en soek altyd sê, tyns dat hy panse, sy moet sorg dat sy speer wil in die boot het, hy drou vir die ade guy, gaat die name noem nie, hy is my bro in die jyre, ek het vir hom van maan tot uit sy skoene uit, een ochend, because, het was nou vir 2 week, wat het so aan gaan, as ons sê, hier op die A300 staan, in die pap wil nie, en die ake dag sê vir my, hy wens nie, ek had het vir na net so, dat ons by die huis kom my bro, en dan gaat ek hier na en 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 thuis, dan gaat soma wat ding is vir hy, hy skuld nog vir my eers vee vee, en die next dag as ons weg toe gaan, en hy tja my op, as sien ek hy hier, en hy gaat ons weer nog een raads toe, en so hy het nog nie die ding, gaat doen wat hy gesê, hy gaat doen nie, amen, en een ochend wat ons nog so staan, sister Mary, en binnen nie, daar by die sim van die hooi, aan die hart van die, African hart lovings, nou ek weet, dit is een hotspot vir huidsikking en en en, smis en greppel ons ken ons die ding is die territory te reyn hier kry ons een panse bin in die hart van die mense ek sê, jyre Jesus ek sê, man van die jyre man van die jyre my werk hier op die aarde is nog nie klaar nie, ek sê jou ek sê jou man van God na hy my broed, sy moet nie sikke goed is doen nie, dat ek laat ek my sjaal kalmeer die so ek sê in die naam van die jyre my broed die sal toe tweede week wat sy vir my sê, sy gaat die panses uit so asjeblief dienaar in die naam van Jesus man, asjeblief man van die jyre, ek is lief vir jou man die bybel sê a open rebuke is better than hidden love Proverbs 27 vers 5 Ek slat om Ek sê om Man van God, sy moet vir jou achter my kaker Man van die jyre As jy een son daar nog gewies het Een Philistijn gewies het As jy anders saad, ons is kinders van die licht man Ek soek jy dien, ek het een familie daar wat 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 wacht op my en die pen op my Moe nie vir my en sikke ding as hy sê, vang hulle is my broer ding as en ding as, ek sê, sy moet my net vraag as ek saam jou moet gaan, but anyway You know, so guys, what I want to say here is, and he was close enough to pick up what he requested and desired from Elijah. Are we close enough to God that whenever God is making his next move, that we won't mess up? And that next move that God is planning to do, and he won't tell you the time, location, and how you information, you know what I'm saying? When you are closer, you can hear more clearer. When there is a whisper of the next instruction that God wants you to do, that where God wants you to go, we will, you will hear it loud and clear. Why? You have that intimate relationship. I bring a karma relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I look at my friend. I look at no one. I look at my mom and my father. I look at the Lord. 
Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Pastor Desmond has said, I got a lean stone, he lights a hot stone. Hey, my mind, my pie, it's pure, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. But guys, let us make sure that we are close enough. Let's not serve God from a distance. Amen. And many a times we think, Kijk kijk, as die aakas so nag in die kerk man. Kijk kijk, as faithful in my tithing and offering. Het is nie gesien die evangelis. I'm serving. Ek is die aakas vredag hier. Het is nie gesien nie. Waar die kom met my slippers. Ek is kangala. You know what I'm saying? But that is not all. It doesn't stop there. If you want to move to the next level, you must have crazy faith. Crazy faith is something that is, how can I say, it is, uh, it is a requirement if you want to move to the next level and to the next thing that God has for you, the supernatural. Now you will experience the supernatural in your life. Hallelujah. I just want to share with you a couple of scriptures. Uh, I just want to reference and you can write it down if you take notes. Um, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, we were called to walk by faith and not by sight. Romans 10, 17, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, God said, maybe the events are not alone. Romans 12, verse 3, and God has given each and every one a measure of faith to use for him. And that is the gift of God that the other gifts will flow, flow from. Hallelujah. So they hear it, activate it net. We are in Vika and Yakata to build and taking you from faith to having crazy faith. Mark 11, 22, have faith in God. Matthew 21, you can go read in your own time. These faith chapters to build your faith. That will elevate you to having crazy faith. Matthew 21, 22. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Amen. There's a couple of scriptures, but there's three points that I want to leave with you guys today. The first one, I want to run through this quickly. The first one is um, dead faith. Now the Bible says in James 2, 17, you don't need to pull it up. Um, I'm a little Bible, see, Ryan, thank you. Um, faith without works, let's do it. If I had to sit in that office and I didn't like exercise my faith, to put it into practice, where I requested and required and asked for the Lord, what will you even do? I should not eat so well. I turn on the noon to, I like to hear as fake, I'm very early up stand, because I start at 7 o'clock there. And, maybe, was it I need, you know? But because, I had for the Lord asked, you know? And I put my faith into action. Faith without works? Nathalus, as do it. Amen. That is point number one, guys. So you can't say that you have faith, but they suck my skin away. But they they go in your series and hear and see. They say, "Yara, courier guy had you stop, man." And Allah had for me a application for him. He dropped, man. Hey, he. Oh yeah. He has much. He has much. Chosen one. Huh? Chosen one from God. Chosen one. 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 That is being put into actors and practice yeah. action. Amen. Say scaro man. Say yara ek suka vek. Kijk ek kan nou eet nou. One morning I said Lord, say how I train ek wit ek het verslaap. Maar say wit ek prik daar. As mense wat expecting this. Alles op jy kijk vir evangelis. Amen. Jy was die evangelis vir ogen. Vra jy dokter toe weer syk gera. Ha ha. Ek say yara say how I train vir my. And in the name of Jesus, I can see and I can make it clear because I practice and I put my faith into action. Here, I look at the truck here, I've sent it to Sister Mary. And when I got on the train station, she didn't get so bright, 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 she didn't get so bright. As a year, as a year, hey, as a year, hey, wait, 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 wait. Put your faith into action. Faith without works is dead. James 2 verse 17. Number two, fine faith. What is fine faith? You see the Bible, we, we, there's a lot of Christians that are lip service, man. 
Hulle, jyre, 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 maar hulle hart is scheef van die jyre af. Hy, they have a form of godliness, but deny the power they have. En, 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 jyre sê, hy moet bly ver weg van die mense. Toxic. Toxic. Bad company, corrupt, corrupt, good character. Skrif. Sê, hy het daar iets genoot gekry nie? Word of God. Halleluja. As jy probleem met amie, ga het vaar het aan met Jesus. Not everyone who says that Jesus is Lord of their lives will enter the kingdom of heaven. Hoor jy die sy ander ding? On the day of his return. The Bible says in Matthew 7 verse 21, Not everyone that says Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he or those that does the will of my Father who art in heaven. What is the will of God? The will of God is what the Great Commission in uh, uh, Matthew 28 verse 19 to go out and make preach the gospel, make disciples, proclaim the good news of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the people know that they need to repent. But if the fishes of men are quiet and muted, how will the people know that they need to repent from the wicked ways? But it was in a comfort zone. The will of God is to go out according to the Great Commission and make disciples. Praat van Jesus, man. Talk about His goodness at your workplace. Hallelujah. Magnify Him. Speak the name of Jesus. Let them know that He is the one and only one. That can bring solutions for their problems. That is the answer for the questions that they might have. That is the Savior, the Redeemer who died for us. Who are worthy to be served by us. And who are worthy for us to live our lives for Him who laid down His life for us. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 15. Read the word. They got excited, violently excited. Because the body of Christ is powerless. The church is powerless. The... Oh, Jesus. The will of God. The will of God. Last night it blesses my heart. Past 11, I was... I was laying in my bed, I was still meditating on scripture and then, and then, past 11, Tyler had to be fast asleep already. He worked at Don Mowen, I looked to him and throw and say, Aniko Beis, Don Mowen, it blesses my heart when I hear that, when I experience that past 11. We was not on TikTok at that so right me nie aan op stikkie die jyre weet van jou o ja as niks wat ek het die net die jyre lekker sies halleluja number 3 saving faith the bible says in 1 John 1 9 that if we confess our sins he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness verstaan die ding when we come to him, we come to him by faith. Ephesians says so like it says, I said uh, uh, Ephesians 2. I said, and we were saved not by works, but by faith in Christ Jesus. Good works got for you. Your faith. Your faith. For it is by grace you, you, are, you are saved through faith. And that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Romans 10 verse 9. If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart. That God has raised him. From the dead on the third day. You will be saved. Faith. Believe. Believers. Believe. Believers walk by faith. And not by sight. Uh, if you are a believer and you are sitting here. Kry jou skeetsel reg. Asseblief in die naam van die Heere. I'm not here to redeem, condemn you. I'm here to help you. God is going to come for a glorious church. He's going to look for faith among us. Nee, wat is jou username op TikTokie? 
En hoeveel followers zij had, hij gaat niks tellen haar, hij dacht hij. Oh ja. Ik had een miljoen dingers TikTok, jong. 40.000.3 dingers. Is het? Het is Jesus een van hulle. Hij is al wat ik wil weet. Als hij mijn enigste follower is, en ik zijn enigste follower, zo right. Dat is die relationship wat ik zoek. Galatians 1.10 Who's approval are you seeking for in these days? Know this, whatever men say about you, doesn't matter. As long as you know, you are verified by God. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. That will give you the boldness, that will give you the confidence to go out and do whatever God was calling you to do. Amen? I have a powerpoint here that I want to share with you. God loves, forgives and saves us not because of who we are or what we do, but because of our faith in the works of Christ. The definition of saving faith is faith that not only knows and comprehends the fact about the gospel of Jesus Christ, but also trusts in the person and the work of Jesus Christ alone for salvation hallelujah and number four crazy faith the kind of faith that Elisha had that is required for us to move from having faith to crazy faith that is so desperately needed in our lives today if we want to stand firm and want to still stand when Jesus comes to take us to be with him. We gonna need crazy faith. Die ding gaat nog ruk. Examine your lives today in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, child of God, go home and think about what I was speaking on today. And I believe God laid this word in my heart because it's in season. We need to examine our lives. Om te kijken waar is ik in mijn walk with God. Als ik op je rechte plek. Moet ik een beetje suffer. Every day I'm suffering. Suffer. Change things around if you should. Come in right standing with God. It's not too late. Today can be your day. Where you come again in line. With the will of God. And the call of God. That is upon your life. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to close with this. The woman with the issue of blood in Luke 8, from verse 33 to 38, she had crazy faith. She didn't allow anyone to stand in her way. She pressed through. She was consistent. She was desperate. How desperate are you? You know about the story of Bartimaeus in Mark 10? I preached on that once in, this, in our church. Jesus, when he called out, Son of David, have mercy on me and pity on me. Jesus knew when Jesus said when he was persistent. Hulle sê, kijk hier, my nie terug, vang, staan terug, hou jou mond sê, sê maar geraas, ons is my net nie skierig, sê, hy wil nog kom, as sou op sê, die sê, soek sê aan die luimleid. And when Jesus said, bring him here, Jesus knew what it is that he wanted Bartimaeus to do for him. But Jesus asked him, what, it, what is it that you want me to do for you? You know what Jesus did that moment? He was checking where Bartimaeus' faith was at. Your faith has made you whole. Your faith will restore your sight. Your faith will reconcile you with a loved one, your brother or your sister that you have a beef with. Yeah. Your faith, hallelujah, and your love for the Lord Jesus Christ and the intimate relationship, the, 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 the closet relationship, hallelujah, with the Lord Jesus Christ, walking so closely enough to hear the whisper when he gave you instruction, will be the essence that will take you to the next level where you need to be in your walk with God. The centurion man in Matthew 8, hallelujah, Sats fight. Het ek eens hier onder in die kerk gekry nie man. Kijk hier die ou. Hier leer jy gauw van my iets wat die Heere al voor jou dien. What is there to learn today? Out of this message. 
Hallelujah. Let us examine our lives today. In closing, the Bible says, this verse I want to close with tonight. Today, tonight, I must have answer was this. Be ready. Be ready. Man, I know. Jesus, you live for the year. You live for the year. You are crazy. You are. Oh yeah, you are my brothers and sisters. No, say that. Oh yeah. This is Mali van der Lees, man. Jesus. Okay. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 6. Listen carefully to the word of God. Without faith. It is impossible. To please God. If you are not pleasing God. You are displeasing God. Let's stand to our feet today.